Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm opening up a new arrival, which is sort of a change in some of my doll plans. Previously, I've shared a few videos about the Feeble 65 Ein faceplate I got to use as a shell for Kit, one of the characters in my Snake's Blood Saga book series. I spent a lot of time modifying the faceplate and got to where all she still needed was a body. I had her borrow a body from one of my other dolls, and once I had Kit together with Feral, my Feeble 65 Chloe, I realized I didn't like how they looked together at all. Their facial features were too similar, and they ended up resembling sisters more than friends. I ultimately decided that instead of getting Kit a body, I would get a whole new doll. And when a friend had one of her dolls sent to me for doll sitting due to international shipping restrictions, I knew what I wanted to do. I posted a want to buy for a Feeble 65 CN and I expected it would be a challenge to find one since the doll's been out of production for a long time. The next day, I was contacted with an offer. The doll had a few small issues that meant she'd be a bit of a project, but we all know I like those. She's a full doll that has only the sleeping faceplate since her previous owner assembled her through splits. The idea was having her eyes modified open, and that's exactly what I plan to do with her. She has a few minor stains that will need to be scrubbed off or treated, and a chip in one of her wrists. Shipping was a little nerve-wracking because she was shipped right before the big ice storm hit the south, so she sat for the better part of a week before UPS even scanned her in. But she arrived safe and sound in the end, and that's ultimately what matters. She was really cold when I opened her box, so I tried to be pretty careful so I wouldn't damage any other parts. Extreme cold can make resin brittle. The lighting in my studio was a little weird the day she arrived, really bright outside because of all the snow, so hopefully you can see her alright. One of my favorite elements of this sculpt is that her elf ears are shorter than the ears on the Chloe sculpt, which works out perfectly for Kit's character since she's half Eldani. The chip on her wrist is pretty noticeable, but it's not terrible. I'm still trying to decide how to handle this issue. Because I could sand it down smooth without compromising posability or strength, but then her arms would look different from one side to the other. I could also repair the chip using epoxy, but then it would have to be airbrushed to match, and I worry the paint would rub off easily on a joint used as frequently as a wrist. So I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go yet, just that it has to be addressed eventually. I already had her wig and had made her mageling robes a while ago, so the doll is already really close to being put together and presentable. One other issue I found while trying to get her to sit is that her elastic is pretty loose, so even though I can get her hips to lock, she won't stay sitting upright because she's not tight enough. So I'll probably need to order elastic and restring her. I'll probably also do a small modification to her hip joint while she's unstrung to improve her ability to sit upright. So in some ways, I'm starting over with this project since I'll need to do some repairs and maintenance and repeat the modification I'd done with my Ein faceplate. But I'm also much closer to having a complete doll that I think I'll ultimately be more happy with, so it's not too bad. I don't think I'll be starting work on her until I'm farther along customizing Rune, but it's nice to know that she's here and ready for when it's time for me to begin something new. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.